Phil's Creepy Vids. Hey there, horror fans. It's your buddy Phil here, and I'm back today to do another top 10 Blu-rays. I uh, hope everybody out there is having a good day today, so let's get right back into her. First of all, we have The Final Girls. Uh, this came out in 2015. Um, these teenagers get sucked into a movie that is very similar to a Friday the 13th movie. Uh, if you haven't seen this, definitely see it. It says it's hilarious when me and our friends ac accidentally re reluc reluctantly attend a tribute screening of an infinite, infamous 80s slasher film that starred Max's late mother. They're accidentally sucked into the slasher screen. So yeah, Final Girls, definitely worth watching. If you haven't seen this already, Highly recommended. Next we have The Final Terror. This came out in 1983. A group of young campers out for what they hope will be a fun-filled weekend find their plans spoiled by a disguised merciless killer who stalks the forest in searches of new victims. Soon they're caught in a terrifying web of bloodshed and murder. So yeah, uh, The Final Terror, uh, 80s cheese, Check it out, 1983. Next we have the Flatliners remake, which came out in 2017. Uh, this was kind of a blind buy. I don't even think I've made it through this whole movie. Um, but I'm a big fan of the original Flatliners, so I had to pick this up for the collection. It does have Ellen Page, which I like. So check it out if you want. <laughs> Next we have David Cronenberg's The Fly from 1986. Uh, this was filmed in Toronto, I believe, a couple hours away from me, which is cool. Uh, stars Jeff Goldblum, transforms into The Fly, remake of the uh, movie starring Vincent Price. So this came out in 1986. If you have not seen this movie, highly recommend it. Definitely check it out. Sorry guys. Next we have John Carpenter's The Fog, came out in 1980. Uh, it's a Deborah, Deborah Hill production, directed by John Carpenter, Adriana Barbeau, Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, lots of good people in this one. So, The Fog. This is the collector's edition from Screen Factory. So if you have not seen The Fog, I don't really know what rock you've been living under, but go see it. It's great. Next, we have The Forest. Came out in 2016. Uh, lady's sister disappears in Japan's suicide forest. And that is a real place. Look it up. Uh, and uh, goes missing. So she goes in search with of her sister with a couple other people, I believe. And it's basically the forest plays tricks on your mind and kind of makes you commit suicide. Uh, I actually like this one. A lot of people don't like this one. I kind of like it. So check it out if you want. Next we have The Fourth Kind. This came out in 2009. It stars Mila Jovovich. Uh, kind of goes back and forth between found footage and Hollywood uh, with Mila playing the part of one of the people. Uh, takes place in Alaska, basic UFO abduction. Uh, they hypnotize these people who claim to have been abducted. And uh, it's okay. I don't mind this flick. It's okay. Next we have Frank Henenlotter's Frankenhooker. Uh, guy buys his girlfriend a remote control lawnmower. Said lawnmower runs her over and kills her. Uh, so he takes her head and 
gives dynamite crack to a lot of prostitutes to get body parts. And it's just an outrageous, outrageous movie. This is the uncut version from Synapse. There's the back there, but if you like Basket Case or any of, of the other Frank and Lauder series, Brain Damage, must watch Frank and Hooker. So good. Uh, kind of also reminds me of Bride of Reanimator. But yeah, definitely check it out. Next we have Freaked. This came out in 1993. I believe it is an Alex Winter. So he is uh, Bill and Ted, one of those guys. But uh, yeah, what can I say? Mr. T has a bearded lady. It's got Brooke Shields in it. Alex Winter. It's got Keanu Reeves as Dog Boy. Uh, so yeah, they go to a kind of a freak show. And uh, he's using this toxic waste to make his freaks for the freak show. Uh, Randy Quaid is the, the mad scientist dude at the freak show. But outrageous, outrageous movie. If you haven't seen Freaked, see it. And last but not least, we have Freaks of Nature. This came out in 2015. There's vampires, there's zombies, there's comedy. Uh, so yeah, Freaks of Nature, check it out. And that's it guys, real fast top 10 today. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day. I am, my cat's getting into stuff. But yeah, that's my time. Thanks so much for yours. Have a great day guys, peace. So if you guys like that video, comment down below, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in Phil's next video. Peace!